The type of farm that, that I'm involved with and with my role as NFU is obviously my brother who's been um, involved much more in the day-to-day -day running the farm. This is a really now very specialist arable farm but one I hope you can see from the pictures behind me is learning um, to produce more crop um, but also do it alongside environmental management as well. We want to grow hopefully profitable arable crops, good yields but also in an environmentally sensitive way. What's important for us, I think, as, as arable farmers, um, is certainly to look at our carbon footprint. And, you know, we could look at the whole general debate of greenhouse gases of methane and nitrous oxide. But certainly with, with carbon emissions, the amount of energy I use to produce a tonne of wheat is key. So we're trying to make sure everything is done more efficiently. The machine we've just seen operating has a sensor on, sensing the green canopy as it travels, and then varying the application rates as it goes to try and make sure that you know we're not over-treating areas where the soil has meant the crop has grown very lush and is potentially could fall over, which is again wasteful. Um, you get lower yields having used more energy, so that's a, an impact for climate change. Trying to make sure that I don't overdose fertilizer that there might be runoff into ditches or um, um, evaporate into the atmosphere, this continual sensing is trying to make the whole process of fertiliser application more precise. Phosphate this year has gone from £200 a tonne to over £600 a tonne. So by using the technology that goes and maps in detail these fields, where the nutrient levels are low and where they're high, and then using um, global positioning GPS systems to make sure that we put the right amounts in the right place, saves me a lot of those really, really expensive inputs. You know, I think there'll be some fields this year we'll pay for the testing of the land in one year, and you know, having already had the GPS a variable applicator in the tractor, um, you know, that will very quickly, perhaps over a three-year period, certainly pay for itself. And, you know, you can't predict what future input costs are going to be. Um, but that's on a, a relatively large farm. I think by farmers collaborating, working together, they can see this technology applying product, hopefully, on their farms as well. Another piece of technology we're investing in this year is precision guidance systems onto tractors that are pulling big, heavy earth moving or cultivation equipment. And by getting that more precise, um, there is a lot of evidence that says we can save um, up to 10% of our fuel use. Now, as I say, precision guidance, making sure you don't overlap, you don't end up with awkward corners in fields, must be um, a great way of saving money. Um, I think there's lots of, of talk about um, climate change now and lots of farmers having a, a discussion. Now, the value, I think, of the NFU working with Farming Futures to you know, put information out into the farming world, try and make sure that agronomists, advisors onto farms are also aware of the, the work and the case studies that Farming Futures have been involved in, is better than me, Peter Kendall, as a farmer telling people what to do, but showing what can be done in genuine case studies. I think that's a, a great way of trying to get the message across.